Hey guys, what's up? In today's video, I am going to be trying the new Fenty Beauty Moroccan Spice eyeshadow palette. I absolutely love the array of colors in this one and I'm going to try a look using some of the more pinkier, rosier, warmer colors. We're just going to have fun and give these colors a try. I already swatched them so I already got a feel for the textures and for sure their metallic colors are the creamiest. They are so buttery and the shine is everything. I am going to zoom in so we can start playing with the colors. I'm going to start with the Pro Filter Amplifying Eye Primer. The applicator on this is very interesting. It's almost like a Q-tip in shape. So I'm going to put that all over the lid. I don't have anything on it right now. I already got it on my lashes. I have some mascara on from earlier in the day. So I don't want to put too much on. And then I'm going to take my fingertips and just spread that out. And what I really like about this, just from applying it right now, is that it feels almost balmy. It's not really dry or anything and it, it doesn't feel like something that's going to get cakey on the eye. So I really enjoy the texture of it. That's cute. It brightens just the tiniest bit. It feels a little bit tacky, which I think is good if you want those brighter colors to really stand out. I'm going to start with this color right here next to the bright pink. It's a soft orangey tone. And I'm taking the Fenty Beauty blending brush, the number 210, that's in the collection as well. Dusting off the excess, and you can see how bright that is. Oh my gosh. It's still tacky. I almost feel like we need to put a little powder on to keep the eyeshadow from grabbing onto an area too harshly, but we're just going to go with it. And yeah, let's just start in the crease with this shade right here and I'm just working in circular motions to make the most out of the primer and keep things looking neat so right in that crease this is gonna be real cute look at how vibrant that is now I'm kind of feeling a halo eye situation so we're going to take that in the inner corner, that same orange. Next I'm going to go in with that reddish color and I'm going to use a smaller crease brush so we can start to build depth. So this I'm keeping more on the lid. So this I'm keeping more on the lid. And then I'll take the larger brush that we were using earlier to merge it with the corally orange. That's already looking real good. Just keep blending and building the colors. Next I'm going to take this duochrome pink with the Fenty Beauty eyeshadow brush and apply that to the center. That's so cute. So this is what we get with the brush. All right, she cute. Now let's try a fingertip, which is typically the best way when working with these kinds of shadows. And it's a little bit extra, which is what I want. And this just looks like a beam of light on the skin. And then I'm just taking the edges and blending them into that pink halo situation that we have going on. I want to build more of that outer and inner corner at an extra depth with this brown tone right here. 
and I'm going to take that smaller brush that I used earlier and I'm just going to go right in the outer corner. So I still want to keep that red to coral ombre, but let's add a little extra something something. Now we have like a watercolor situation that's super blended. I am going to add another color, another one, and it's going to be this one up here, which almost looks like a flat white, but it actually comes off pink and it has pink reflex in it. So it's going to be a really pretty highlight color. So I'm going to take a small brush and go in the inner corner, which I never do. But for this look, I'll make an exception. It's a really pretty pop. Next, I'm going to take some of that same color and place it right in the center just for an extra bit of shimmer and pop. I'm going to go under the eye with that purpley brown just to keep the smokiness going I'm gonna take some of the coral from the crease and just add that to the bottom edge on the lower lash line next I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty fly liner to draw a very thin line so that I can blend my falsies into my natural lashes. So far this eyeliner is applying so well. You can feel how much product is in there. It feels super moist. <laughs> I know a lot of people don't like that word. But again, this is a brand new eyeliner and we always love a fresh eyeliner. My eyes are done, so here is the final look. Now that I've had a chance to play with the products myself, I have to say that my favorite thing is the eyeshadow palette, of course. I love the colors and this is just the first of many looks that I'm going to try for myself with these gorgeous colors. I think that the eyeshadow primer definitely needs a little more testing, but I really liked how tacky it felt, but that means that this is something that when you're using eyeshadow you have to work a little carefully a little slowly because it will grab onto that pigment so you don't want to go in there and spread the products everywhere you really want to place it strategically in concentrated areas and slowly work the brush to blend it out i really love 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 the fly liner i hope that it stands the test of time because Oftentimes when you first get an eyeliner, I keep saying this, it's amazing, but the tip starts to wear off over time. The product doesn't come out as smoothly, but fresh out the box, this is incredible. It just goes on smoothly and you get really, really rich black color on the lash line. It is a little bit shiny. I would say like a satin finish. I prefer matte black. So if they come out with another eyeliner that is completely matte, I am there. But you can't really tell once it's like with the eyeshadow and the lashes. But when I swatched it on my hand, it was a little bit shiny. But ugh, it's so gorgeous. And you can get the thinnest line on the inner corner. So I really hope this does continue to perform as brilliantly as it did today. Those are my thoughts. I hope you guys enjoyed the look and this video. Let me know by clicking the thumbs up and if you're new hit the subscribe button and I'll leave links to everything I use down below because I just showed you the eyes but you know if you want to get into this glow I'll let you know what I used in the description box and I will catch you guys in the next video. 
Thank you so much for watching. Bye.